to a new vlog. This vlog is kind of a mismatch of different clips because I just got back from a vacation with my husband. We went up to Mackinac Island and stayed there for a few days to celebrate our first year anniversary, which was really, really fun. I actually had never been to Mackinac Island before. I uh, had so much fun though, and Chris and I just really enjoyed ourselves, enjoyed our time there, and I filmed while I was there, so I'm trying to edit a vlog for that footage as well, so I will try to get that up sometime in the next few days. But before we left, I filmed some clips when I went out to a couple of stores with both my mom and also with Melissa. So I have a little bit of footage of me shopping for things for my classroom, and then when I got back from my trip, I was greeted by a bunch of different Amazon packages of things that were purchased off of my Amazon wish list. So I wanted to show you guys those things as well. So it's kind of just a mix of all sorts of different things, but hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Um, let me go ahead and just jump in and show you guys some of the things that came in the mail. This is kind of like a little classroom haul. The first package was from Krista. So th Krista, thank you so much for this donation to my classroom. I remember she commented on one of the last videos and said, hey, you have some books coming your way. So that was a really cool surprise when I opened these up. So this is a cool one. Um, it's called Boris on the Move. This is a series of books. I don't think I own any other ones in the series. Though. I don't believe so. So the back looks like and then I got a couple of these um, just like shorter little books I like having some of these in my library because they're less intimidating for kids who maybe aren't used to sitting down and reading like a whole big chapter book these are ones that they can just commit to for like a day or two and then be done with which is kind of nice for some of the kids so some really fun themes of just like sea life which Definitely would be high interest books. So thank you so much, Krista, for those. I also got a bunch of horse books. I got three different books from, let's see where the note is. This is a different type of note than I'm used to. Typically, um, the notes come in on like these little sheets of paper. So this one must have been from um, a different seller or something like that. But it says, um, this package was actually from a fellow Kim. Um, this Kim said, hi Kim, these are um, for all the horse lovers out there. I really enjoyed these books when I was a kid. So thank you so much for that, Kim. She sent three horse books over, which this past year I had a little gal in my class who loved horses and was always looking for animal books. So I love that I'm gonna have these in my library. There's just three different ones. So thank you so much, Kim, for these these will definitely be well loved i love actually too one of these i believe is a graphic novel um i think it's this one yes so this one is a graphic novel of black beauty which is really really neat so kids always enjoy those and then we have black stallion and this one looks super cute i haven't heard of this one before but that looks super super fun so thank you kim so much for those then i got a package and you guys are totally gonna laugh at me i showed chris my husband and he he was like seriously babe you didn't read the description oops uh, you know, we're all guilty of doing that from time to time, I think. But I got a package from a man named David, and he just said, enjoy your gift. And so my guess is that he watched one of my last videos where I talked about how hot my classroom is, because I put on my wish list, like, a um, air conditioner, which those are super expensive, so I definitely don't expect to get that, but I just stuck it on there because it's one that I'm looking into. So I stuck that on there, and then a dehumidifier and a couple of box fans. Well, when I was looking up the box fans, I just typed in, box fan and picked like the first one that came up that was black um, and I'll show you guys that was kind of my mistake so I'll show you that in just a second but um, the first thing in the box was this dehumidifier which I think will be really helpful because there's always so much moisture in the room and it seriously makes like everything fall off the walls and like just look horrible and so anyways that will be super super helpful so thank you David so much for that well he also got me the box fans Imagine my surprise when I open them up and they're the size of my head. These are computer fans, you guys. Like, can you believe that I did this? I literally didn't even look. Like, the picture looks like a normal box fan. I added it to my list, didn't think anything of it. Um, I literally just typed in box fan and it was like one of the very first things to pop up. 
and so I feel so silly so David thank you so much for that amazing gift I will be exchanging these little computer box fans to try to get some real box fans um, but luckily I think I should be able to return it it looks like um, the return label is on the bottom I think of this one right here so I think I should be able to do that um, I can't believe I did that you guys like I literally opened it up and I was like what is that and then I realized and I was amazed with myself so thank you David for trying to help me keep some of the heat out of my classroom if you guys have seen some of my last vlogs you know that my school is not air conditioned and the first month of school especially it is kind of horrific with just the like over 100 degree classroom um, trying to keep fans on and uh, just do whatever I can to keep it cool the only thing I've learned that kind of helps is I keep some like spray bottles in the fridge and I walk around and just spray the kids with water um, and like spray myself because you guys it gets so unbearably hot so um, that does help a little bit and then I spray that cold water in front of the fans another thing that I was taught to do is keep like a bowl of ice in front of the fans and that helps a little bit but you guys it is unbearable this past year I ended up just teaching outside for pretty much the whole maybe first two weeks of school at least um pretty much all of the learning was just done outside which you know isn't much better but at least that way you can find like some shade or go under a tree or try to get a breeze or whatever so anyways David thank you so much for those I will be exchanging those fans for some real fans <laughs> Next package that I got says, Hi Kim, reading has always been a big part of my life and still is. My father always read to me before I go to bed. I'm glad you are pushing for your students to read. Enjoy your gift from Cynthia. So Cynthia, thank you so, so much. She sent over some of these Ticonderoga pencils, which are always appreciated, you guys. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. I think I've received like four or five packs of these at this point, so I think I'm pretty much stocked for this upcoming school year, at least for the beginning of it. Um, you would not believe how many pencils kids go through. It's kind of amazing, but these pencils do sharpen a lot better than just like the traditional pencils that you get um from you know the dollar store or whatever it might be the target dollar spot these do sharpen quite well and um yes i definitely recommend the ticonderoga ones then she sent over some of these fraction cubes which oh my gosh you guys these are amazing these are from the brand hand to mind and Ideally someday I would love to get a class set of these so that every kid could have them But I think these are such an amazing tool that I'm going to be able to use in my classroom These are such an awesome manipulative and it goes all the way from one hole is the largest down to 112 which is awesome and the kids can just tinker around with them i'm going to figure out maybe if i get some of those like sandwich containers from the dollar store i might be able to fit like a whole set into there i'm not really sure i'll have to play around with it but i would love for the kids to be able to play with these and use them to help them understand fractions because fractions are really tricky for a lot of kids and i am a firm believer that the more manipulatives you can use and the more real life models you can use the better so Cynthia actually sent over three sets of these which is pretty amazing so this is the first one and then she sent over two other sets as well so Cynthia thank you so much that was seriously so generous I am like way 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 excited for these because I really am taking it upon myself this next year to be a better math teacher that is a goal of mine I want to make math more fun for my kids more real for my kids more hands-on and a lot of that is differentiating and trying to figure out different things that work for different kids and this is definitely gonna help me do that so thank you thank you thank you you seriously have no idea how much that means to me and then also she did send over a couple of books so this one is awesome it is called I am human and this is um, artwork done by Peter H Reynolds who's one of my all-time favorite illustrators the book itself was written by Susan Verde and um, it's a book of empathy which is really important so I'm so excited for this and it actually says on here there's another book coming out pretty soon that's called I am love that comes out in September so I'll have to check that one out as well and then the last thing in this amazing package was this book that I really wanted. So thank you so much, Cynthia, for this. It's called Civil Rights Then and Now. And this just looks like such an interesting book. Um, it looks like it's all black and white on the inside. And it's almost like a... Um, 
I don't know if you call it like an infographic. Um, there's a better word for it that I'm not thinking of, but basically it just goes through and talks about the differences. And it's a pretty larger, um, pretty large size book, bigger size book. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's a larger book. And so I just think this is gonna be such a cool book to get in students' hands, and I think they'll really enjoy that. So thank you so much, Cynthia, for that. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys, I'm actually using as my tripod right now, <laughs> or not really my tripod, but to boost me up. So let me move the camera over so I can get it out from under you. I know I look kind of yellow now, but we're just gonna roll with it. Um, I have some things on my lap right now, as you can probably see, to show you. Now I will say the box did not hold up very well in transport. Um, you can see it's like all broken on the side, so I have to be a little careful with how I hold this up. But I have had reusable dry erase pockets on my Amazon wish list for the last little while because I really want them for like my center work and I just think they would be really helpful to not have to waste as much paper and like reprint everything every single time. Um, so that way, instead of having one copy of a sheet for every kid in the class, I can like have five copies at a center and then the kids could maybe take a picture of it when they're done and post it on Google Classroom or they can just use the honor system and like check each other's and then erase it when they're done. So I think this will really help me to print less, which will be awesome. So I got some of these dry erase reusable pockets. These are from the brand Class Captain off of Amazon. And one of the people who works over at Class Captain actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, we saw these were on your Amazon wish list. If you'd like to have some, like we'll send them over. So they actually sent over 60 of them, which is crazy. And when you buy them from Class Captain, they have the dry erase pockets, but then they also come with some free laminating pockets pouches which is like kind of wild because I always need more of those so let me show you this is what the laminating pouches themselves look like they have five different colors which I like because then you can have them in like different groups of kids you can easily differentiate and since there's five different colors and there's 30 total that means there's six of each color because I can do some quick math you know what I mean um, so I have those and then like I said it comes with some laminating pouches which is awesome. I'm seriously so excited about this too. Um, these don't look very exciting, but I promise they're laminating sheets on the inside. So I got that box and then I got a second box as well, which I probably will end up sharing with maybe some teachers in the building or giving it to a friend. Um, and then the other thing that they sent over was this colorful pocket chart with magnetic hooks. So I don't know if I want to like get this whole thing out right now because it's like so nicely in here. So I think I'll try to insert a picture maybe of this because I really like how it's in here in this nice little box and I can't get into my classroom yet. So I kind of want to leave it into this in this little box for right now. So class captain, thank you so much for sending these over. I'm really, really excited, especially like I said about the reusable dry erase pockets because those are things that I've been wanting forever. And I almost just bought some from the Target dollar spot and I decided not to. So I'm so glad I held off and now I have some, so yay! So that is it for my Amazon haul. That was a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> I am so, so, so excited to get all this stuff in my classroom. I seriously cannot wait to get in my classroom, you guys. I'm like vicariously living through all of these other youtubers who have teaching YouTubes who are like in their room and like doing their thing oh my gosh you guys I've like been binge watching everyone but sadly I will not get in for probably like a month still so hopefully you guys don't get sick of these types of videos and me just showing you guys like what I'm doing at home and how I'm preparing and um, just like the fun stuff I'm buying for my classroom and all that fun stuff so thank you again to all of you who have donated these things you guys have no idea how much it means to me how much it means to my students it is pretty amazing so Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot say it enough. And now I want to jump into the clips where I take you guys shopping with me. I have a couple clips from Joanne Fabrics. I didn't actually end up buying anything there, but I just kind of took you around and showed you um, some things that I saw there. And then also the Target Dollar Spot. So let's jump into those right now. Spotted at Joanne's. Here's some really cute stuff. Everything's like adventure themed. Here's my mom. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you find? Woo. Pineapple flakes. Ooh, that's fun. All 75% off. Nice. And I was looking at all this stuff, it's cute. They have like Happy Camper. This would be cute in Katrine's room, but it's still 250, which I feel like, it's just like, feel it. It's really thin wood. Yeah. Like the, and then look how cute these little letters and numbers are. But they were $1.99 originally. 
so they'd be 50 cents each. I don't know. I guess it's not that bad, but they're just so little. I feel like they priced this stuff really high originally because they know it's going to be like 75% off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. Some people actually do pay full price. Oh, I'm sure. There's some really cute stuff though. Little bears are cute. What is it? Like a plant stand? Yeah. Hmm. They have some nice fadeless paper here too, a bunch of different kinds, and then Bordet, which I really enjoy. And then they have a bunch of different die cuts, so like these ones are super cute if you had like a beachy themed classroom. Um, some other really cute ones too, I really like these. They're $5.99, which isn't like super cheap, but you also could probably use a coupon I would think. These I just saw on Instagram the other day, I think these are so cute, they're like little scented bookmarks. Super fun. Like taco scented, are you kidding me? That could either be really good or really bad, who knows. Some cute borders, bulletin board type kits. We have some really nice stuff and then they have all these sticker books for a dollar each too and some flashcards. So overall some really good stuff here. Okay you guys, these letter boards are awesome. I've never seen these kind before. I love this one, the circular one. And even these ones are super cool. They look like wood. I mean, I'm guessing they are actually wood, but there's no border on them, which I really like. So those are super cute. They're kind of expensive, but they're really, really cute. And then there's like a ton of different letters. And cute words in cursive. Super, super cute. There's more down here too. We buy like all the rugs. I love this happy place rug. That would be so cute outside of a classroom. Hey there guys, guess where I am? Are we surprised? No, we're not. I'm in the Target Dollar Spot with Melissa. We just saw a Secret Life of Pets too. It was not very good. I would not recommend. It was just subpar, you know? But we had fun regardless. Now we're in the Dollar Spot. I'm getting some tins. They actually have a decent amount of stuff. I like just filmed this clip and then my memory card messed up so it deleted it. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time what's going on here. Melissa, what you getting? Getting some lowercase magnetic letters, which I really like because it's just one of each letter, so you yeah, know you have cute. them. I like that. A dollar each, right? Exciting. Yeah, so I'm getting all that they have, which is four. I feel like that's perfect. Good they have like a pillow here right now. They have all this fun stuff, which like not all of it's school stuff, but it's cute regardless. This stuff over here. I really like these gel clings that we found. Aren't those so cute? I just don't know if I'd actually use them. They're only a dollar, and they have cute little pencils, colored pencils, some stuff for like stem bins, big crayons. There's this cute little like inflatable weather map thing, which is kind of fun. I think these are so cute, these nameplates. I keep seeing these in people's videos and on Instagram. Anything fun over here, Melissa? I know, I really want those. I don't know, I haven't decided. Should I did. I don't know if I'd use them. We have a bunch of bins. They have this stuff over here, so there's a bunch more tins, but I think I'm gonna stick with these ones because I feel like these would be cute to have for like gifts. I don't know, some of the other ones are cute too though. There's like grade books, lesson planner, more pencils, reading tracker, which is kind of fun. I haven't seen that yet. That's kind of cute. There's also like gift tags and stuff. You can tell people have like really been through this. It's looking a little rough, but I'm in this area over here too, which is super cute. Magnetic letters, dry erase boards, name plates, bulletin board stuff, erase pockets, all sorts of fun things. So Target's really just doing the most. We love Target. We stand Target. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember that you're incredibly beautiful and loved. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. I would love to have you guys back here hanging out with me, doing more teacher things. Let me know in a comment below what you'd like to see over on this channel. I do have a list of some like more sit down type videos that I want to film this summer, um, but we'll see what happens. I always have a long list of things I want to do. That doesn't mean I always get to do them. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. Let me know in a comment below. Remember that you're incredibly beautiful and loved and awesome and cool and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!